I recently saw some gorgeous woven cards in a Facebook group and I had to immediately order the die and try it myself and I am hooked. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I admit I am die cut crazy. This video is part of my ongoing die cut crazy video series and in this video I'm sharing a bunch of cards I made with Sue Wilson's and Creative Expressions Intermediate weaving die. This die makes weaving on our card so easy and I just love the detail of the stitching on there as well. So it's one die, looks simple. I've tried weaving on cards before and this makes it way simpler and adding those stitches uh, really makes it um, very very um, pretty as well. The first card that I made was this Celebrate Peach and Teal card. Um, I just did um, weaving in and out, in and out, um, as shown on the first video that I watched. You're going to want some kind of frame of some sort to cover the edges or else cut out a shape and do the weaving underneath as I'll show you in some of my other cards. So again, this was the first one that I tried. And um, basically what you do is you cut out um, one of the dies and kind of leave it together. And then for this one, I just went up and down weaving, obviously very, very easy to do, um, just one at a time. And then um, you push it down and then you do um, another one. Um, and that's what I did on the first one anyway. I'll show you some variations in a minute. But you just go up and down. You can see how easy it is. And um, push them together. Um, I really like all of them to be stitched. But these were some extra pieces that I had. So I'm just showing you. Um, again, it's very, very simple to do. Um, I'm going to use this piece in a minute. And so, again, that was the first one that I did um, with the stitching um, and the one, one strip at a time. But then I did um, some more experimenting. Now, there are more dies in this line at Creative Expressions, but I only purchased this one, which was the intermediate one. Um, but for this card, I did uh, cut some skinnier pieces um, on my own with some sparkly blue. So you can see I have the uh, regular blue and white, and then I wove with the thicker green and then the thin blue for that neat look. Um, this is a wedding card. Now all the details on all the cards that I'm showing you will be on my blog and there'll be links in the description box both to the blog posts and all the products that I'm sharing. On the inside I have Mr. and Mrs. with another heart there. So again die cook crazy. There's very little stamping almost all uh, dies on these cards. After playing for a while, I tried putting two strips together both ways, and that became my favorite way of weaving, and that's the one I'm going to show you. So on this baby card, I have um, two pastels going up and down and two pastel colors going that way. Um, and so we ended up with a really neat woven quilt looking um, background on that with a cute little um, elephant. Uh, welcome little one for a baby card. And um, this one I made for 4th of July or celebration of any kind. Um, again, using four different colors, two going that way and two going that way. Um, and I really, really like how that celebration card turned out. And then on the inside I have some flip-flops and joy. So a nice summer celebration card. This is the card that I'm going to show you how to make. Um, slim line cards are trending right now and they're my favorite current card layout. I use some dies from Pink Fresh Designs with stitches for both the front and the inside of the card. So you can see, I'm hoping you can, um, I, I just think stitching adds such a neat detail. I know you can cut your own, but I just really like stitches on my cards. So the black piece on the front is a pink fresh studio die. And then on the inside, I used another one. And um, so it says, celebrate you 
on this special day and the butterfly that I cut out of this piece it was just too pretty to throw away but it was plain black so I added some gold embossing around the edge um, what I use for that is something I've just been trying it's the distress embossing dabber and I put some of that around the edge and added gold um, sparkly embossing powder um, to the edge and um, like how that turned out and on these words too I used the dabber on the bottom and added some more sparkly embossing powder I like that look of half gold and half white there um, and then this is the um, one we're going to make um, the butterfly opening uh, that die is from Stampendous um, the celebrate you stamps and matching um, dies um, are from uh, Neat and Tangled, but the Celebrate itself is from Karen Berniston. And I use some Tonic Studios mirror card. That black is mirror card, and the gold is the honey gold. And then that gold and black patterned polka dotted paper is also from Tonic Studios. So um, again, I've used those um, Pink Fresh Studio um, stitch dies to cut out the front, and I have that butterfly opening um, ready for the weaving to be underneath, and I have prepared the inside with the butterfly. And on this one, um, I really like that set from Neat and Tangled, and it says Celebrate You, and in this case, it's uh, on the inside, it says Every Good Day, Every Bad Day, Every Damn Day. So if you have a friend who's going through a rough time, I just think that's a, we're going to celebrate you no matter what, every good and bad day. So um, that is prepared to go. Now to um, do the weaving the way that I've discovered I like the best, um, we're going to cut out um, four of these die pieces and two of them you're going to leave um, kind of together and um, what you do is you line them up so you have um, instead of that in and out like I showed you before now we're going to have twice as many places to go in and out and so um, you leave a little uh, on the bottom and the top and then you can take a um, some type of adhesive. In this case, I'm just going to use a tape runner. And I am going to put those together. And do a little trimming. So those are um, ready to go, except what you want to do, this is something that I've discovered. I'm on my smaller scissors. Um, I'm going to weave every uh, two together. Um, so what I do is I cut just the top so that those are, are loose there. So there's two um, together. And this is going to make it really easy to do the weaving. So you have a black and white, and then a black and white. So every other one has been cut and is ready to go. Now, I am weaving with um, a piece that has gold on the top and black polka dotted and um, what I do is I take two of these and I 
tape them together. with a piece of tape on the back so that when I go to weave I don't need that tape sticking out there when I go to weave them they are together okay and then um, I start and I just lift up every other one And then I'm going to push this down until it's straight along the bottom. And then I'm going to take another one, and again, these are taped together. And on this one, I'm going to go every other one um, the opposite of what I did on the first one. Now these are longer than what you need, um, but we're going to trim those edges off. And you get it straight and as close as you can to the next piece, the last one that you, the last strip. Now let's try one more here. So again, it's going to be every other one, and you can lift these up. But by keeping those end pieces together and having taped the strips together, you can see how easy that is. And it's every other one. But here I'm going to end up with a really neat pattern. Now I'm going to finish that off camera and be right back. So I finished the weaving, um, and then I trimmed it down. Um, I think that's maybe the hardest part of it all, is to get it trimmed just so that it's perfect underneath the opening for the butterfly. Um, I don't have a lot of space on either side of that. Um, when I did the first one, I put this piece on and then I trimmed it down. But you could see it along the edges. So I'm trying to trim it first this time and I'm hoping that that will work. I put some good strong um, two-sided uh, tape along these edges here to attach it. First, I'm going to attach this piece underneath. Uh, I'm going to have to stand up to do that. And I want to make sure it doesn't show on the top or the bottom, um, which I can see it a little bit, but I'll trim that off. Then I have that strong tape that's going to hold it uh, down as well as this. Oh. Sometimes getting these started is the hardest thing. <laughs> to attach this and again I'm standing up I hope my head's not in the way to get that straight I'm 
I just love the look of that weaving under there and the combination of the blacks and the golds I just think is so pretty and I'm real happy with how that card turned out. A Celebrate You card. Every good day, every da bad day, every damn day. And butterflies, of course, are always perfect. I had so much fun making these wo woven cards. And I have lots of pieces left, so we'll be playing with some more ideas with those soon. I hope my cards encourage you to try some woven cards of your own. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And thanks, too, for helping me share the joy of creativity.